Once more, good evening. Uh, we are again gathered here. Light them with my word. This Sunday's reading is uh, on Mark chapter 6, verse 7 to 13. Jesus instructs his disciples and sends them to preach repentance. No? In verse 6 and 7, And he called him the twelve and began to send them out by two and give them authority over the unclean spirits. So, two by two. No? So, if there are twelve uh, no, if there are twelve apostles, then uh, two by two. This is uh, six pairs. No? Two by two. The meaning of that is uh, pairing a weaker one or the one that is about to be gonna be down train, or it can happen to our ordinary life. We want to train our boys to be gonna be pictures of. Uh, maintenance in the house then you have to uh, uh, bring them no especially if you if you're doing something you're doing some fixing then you let them to become your assistant I'm happy the other day I, I saw my my apple no he's he's fixing now the door of the cabin no? before he really <laughs> We have really a fight if I'm going to bring him to become my assistant in uh, fixing something in the house, no? or maintaining something in the house. So, husband and wife, no, we, we are two joined together, no? and uh, it's really difficult, no, it's really difficult, difficult if we don't uh, learn from each other, complement from one another. No? then uh, we will become stronger no? if we are two. And uh, father and son uh, relationship, uh, teaching the manly attitude of, or manly behavior of the son. No? And mother and daughter, like uh, especially in uh, grooming, no? uh, is where the the daughters or the son are being taught no? or uh, how to be pleasing to one another so the the mission of that mission of the apostles no given by Jesus two by two has so many meanings like uh, apostles Paul and Barnabas apostle Paul and uh, doing mission with Timothy and Titus, so look at Timothy after that, no? he becomes a bishop, no? so it's uh, about training. In the church, it is also like that, no? deacon. No? Uh, when you go to the parish, especially during kanang, sana, uh, vacation time, you can see many seminarians or deacons no? uh, assisting the priest. No? Or they go to the barrio, uh, kanang, uh, celebrating masses with the deacons around and <coughs> authority uh, given to drive out unclean spirit no? this is the authority that God gave to us no? aside from uh, the authority to preach no? the authority to heal no? so this is the, the most difficult casting out demons and this is the mission of Jesus, to free us from the dominions of the unclean spirit, heal us from our uh, sickness, and preach us or give us the hope of the eternal life or the goodness of salvation. Amos chapter 7 verse uh, 14. I am no prophet nor a prophet son but I am a herdsman and a dresser of sycamore trees and the Lord took me from following the flock and the Lord said go prophesy to my people Israel really really it's not easy 
to follow the commandments of the Lord, authority <laughs> to drive out demons. But in Amos, is you know, I'm only a rich man. I'm I'm not a prophet. I'm not a speaker, a good speaker, no. I'm not even a prophet's son, but I am only a herdsman. Uh, I am only a shepherd. I am only a dresser of the sycamore tree. But brothers and sisters, God is calling us because you can already prophesy. You can already attest to the goodness of the Lord. By being a herdsman, you develop your leadership. You develop your skills in in handling or managing the flock. You you were able to develop how to be productive in dressing the sycamore trees, no? faithfully. Then you can prophesy. You can serve me. You can now uh, drive out demons because you have experience. You know God. You know Him in your life. So this is uh, the what Amos is trying to tell us, no? Uh, reminding us in verse eight to eleven. It says, He charged them to take nothing for their journey except a staff. No bread, no bag, no money in the belt, but to wear sandals and not put on two tunics. And he said to them, Where you enter a house, stay there until you leave the place. And if any place will not receive you, and they refuse to hear you, when you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet for a testimony against them. Jesus is commanding us not to take anything except the stuff. No? Well, the stuff can uh, can can be used to to climb mountain, no? especially if you're. Uh, uh, if you been uh, been uh, walking for several miles, the staff can somehow help you no? to go on with your journey. No? And there are other are uh, used for the staff to wade up uh, animals along the way, no, or <laughs> robbers and thieves along the way. You can use them no? to to. Uh, uh, as a weapon, no? No? and he commanded not to take money, bags. What do you need if uh, you have money, so you don't need bags. <laughs> uh, you don't need uh, uh, money if you if you don't uh, need bread. So what does this mean, no? What is only essential you have to 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 bring, because uh, in in the mission of uh, Jesus, what he's trying to remind us and teach us is that somebody is sponsoring our trip, sponsoring our food, sponsoring our lodging, sponsoring even our medicine, sponsoring everything what we need in the mission. So, likewise, if we are also receiving missionary in our area, that is also what we are going to do. No? So, we don't really need, we don't need anything if you are a missionary. You just bring your, yourself. Or if you have laptop, you have to bring your laptop. You are to bring your cell phone for the mission. No? Uh, you are going to talk, then you have something a device to use it or you need internet so that is what you are going to to want to bring and nothing more even vehicles no they are providing what does this mean it means that God 
is also kind of repairing to us that we need a community in order for us to do mission. Who will send us? You know? What is the meaning of mission? Hmm. Or a missionary? If you're a missionary, is somebody who is sending you. No? You cannot uh, just do uh, your own mission by saying, uh, I'm going to, I have a mission, a mission of my wife. <laughs> you're missioning your you're missioning yourself to your wife. No? My mission is my nagging wife. <laughs> no? Or my mission is my kanana, uh, 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 drug, drug addict son. No? That is not a mission. No? I think that is the ministry of the family. <laughs> that is your ministry. That is not your mission. So God is calling us to be a community to do mission, no? And then in verse uh, one, in verse eleven, He said, "You should shake up uh, your one, shake up your dust in your slippers, in your in your sandals, no? Shake up the dust, no? It's easy to shake up the dust in us in a sandals. It's easy also to." To wear sandals because you are crossing mountains, rivers, streams, and other another uh, irregularities uh, doing mission. So sandals is very very appropriate, no? And of course, uh, it's easy to shake to shake dust. It's easy to clean with dust uh, the sandals, no? Sayo you kayo. So. Why, why is seeking dust? No? Because that is the practice of the Jew. Uh, the Jews before, once they, they pass through the uh, uh, a pagan territory, then after that they have to seek the dust of, uh, the dust from, their, from their feet, their sandals or their shoes. Because they want to clean. No? It is about cleansing cleansing or in verse 12 to 13 no? in Shia, so they went out and preached that men should repent and they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them no so they should repent no the call for repentance uh, remember this is the call of John the Baptist Jesus uh, continued this uh, he's in Galilee when he when he knew that uh, John the Baptist was arrested in this time the time has come I have to go back to Jerusalem to continue or fulfill my mission so he continued the mission of John the Baptist until he was beheaded no? to repent uh, calling for repentance and um, the disciples and apostles are called are called that they should preach the good news of salvation and calling the people's people of God to repentance no? so like Jesus uh, we accomplish also of driving out demons no like john the baptist we have also preached the good news of salvation and call for repentance and remember brothers and sisters calling for repentance to the, to the uh, sinners to people no around you no? difficult very difficult maybe maybe you you will have trouble no Especially today, you call for repentance for those people, for sinners, so difficult. So that is why, what is really behind this? No? It is in whose, in, uh, the, by the authority of Jesus, uh, we are doing this, we are doing this mission. But aside from that, how are you going to do that? No? Jesus tells us, you use my name, no? 
how could you how could you express the authority of Jesus if you are not using my name that is why by the name of Jesus all evil spirit of this person go and be gone go to the bottomless pit where you belong and never to come back on this person so that is how you are going to drive out demons no? by the authority of Jesus by the name of Jesus no uh, I command you I drive you out no? by the name of Jesus I call you to healing no? that is why uh, siya nga, I an anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them anointed with oil si Jesus Jesus is not using oil when he is driving out demons when uh, when he is healing the sick he is not doing that but for the disciples for the apostles he said na you anoint them with oil that is why in the church karon if you have another min- uh, you're transferred into another ministry or you take on the commitment in one ministry like deacon priest uh, kana holy orders or the priesthood and uh, consecrated life then you have anointing of the holy oil or the sick people anointing of the sick no using the oil because uh, we are just the disciples or apostles of Christ then you we, we use oil and lastly brothers and sisters in the second reading God is uh, reminding us that we are chosen even before the creation of the world. We are to create, uh, we are chosen to be holy because God is holy. We are chosen to continue the mission of Christ. No? Uh, God or Christ cannot do it by their own. That is why He chose the people of Israel in order for Him to continue bringing His people to His fold, to salvation, to His plan of salvation. That is why He sent Jesus to us to teach us and institute the sacrament of baptism that in baptism we are a new creation a new person we are called to evangelize as sons and daughters of god made by the sacrament so in the second reading we are reminded on this as he said even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world we should be holy and blameless before him he destined us in love to be sons through jesus christ according to the purpose of his will to the praise of his glorious grace which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved so that is the that is god is calling us to partake just like the apostles they are sent by two and given authority thank you very much and good evening in the name of the father son holy spirit amen